What's up everybody? Thanks for joining my channel here. Quick video on how we built this raised tree bed. Wanted something different that's gonna stand out and pop in the front yard, especially as a focal point. Everybody always has those bricks or two layers of bricks around the tree. It just looks so old, tacky, especially if it's not kept up and maintained. It just looks bad. So I wanted something different that's gonna blend well with our decor and just really stand out in the neighborhood. So something different. So I decided to do this raised tree bed. Now, um, we got everything from Home Depot for about $200. So one by 10 is going all the way across, beveled at 45 on the corners. And then there's four by four posts. Those are about 24 inches tall on each corner, sticking into the ground a couple inches or so. Um, and then the one by 10s here on the side, those are stacked. Okay, and on the corner pieces here, let me, bend, let me back up a little bit. As you can see here, these are one by fours, just for, just for decor. So it looks great. And um, it took us a couple days. We got it done pretty quickly, but Best way to build this, to be honest, we got some fast setting concrete. It was about six bucks uh, from Home Depot. Decided we started using it. It's like, you know what? We don't really need this. It's not working the greatest for how we were going to build it. So I decided to just go against that idea. And the best way that we decided to come up with was to attach the one by 10 uh, vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal uh, planks going across, line it directly up with the four by four posts. So you have post, post, one by 10, one by 10 stacked and glued together. And then we just brad nail those in as a side piece. So you essentially have one side here, one side there, and two, two pieces, you place them on the ground. You got to measure from the edge of the driveway and also the patio here going in, just so you have a good, a good point to work with. So the hardest part about that, uh, obviously is going to be the roots. The root system on this huge maple tree is going to be huge and outrageous. So it's very hard to place everything structurally because sometimes you may not be able to put the post where you need to and then you got to reset everything and reline everything remeasure so it's about six feet by six and a half feet came out really really good so the only thing a couple minor imperfections of course because we couldn't put the post exactly where we wanted to we had to cut some of the roots no big deal i just had my uh garden tool the kind that you can just saw off whatever if you have a coping saw you could probably do that too um that might be beneficial or if you have a sawzall that would work too um just some different options but uh so what we did is we placed those in and then we just attached the side pieces and it worked really well hardest part here i think when we were finishing it at the top as you can see here the 45 bevels came out pretty good of course you're going to have you know wood that's cupped and you know bowed a little bit and of course because it's not 100 percent six feet and a half by six feet you're gonna have a couple slight gap where you can put in some filler, wood filler, or you could put a couple slivers in if you needed to. There's always ways around it, but you always wanna make sure that, especially for this, you have extra stability because we wanna be able to sit on it. It's got about five inches of overhang here. So when you're done with the glue and brad nails, you want to just use some exterior screws. You can use deck screws. These are two inch, you can use three inch or whatever else you have. So I'm gonna be putting that on there as well around extra stability. I might be putting a two by two post going across the very top where you can barely see it all the way up here just for extra support on it. So if someone sits on it, it's not just going to break. It's going to be, it's going to last for years to come. So um, on the inside, what we did here, I don't know if you can really see it, but there are vertical posts on each. There's two vertical posts going up on each side and that's just, uh, you know, support it. So it's from, you know, bottom to top just to help support the overall structure and foundation of it. And then soil, you're always gonna need more soil than you think. So um, wanted to get some dirt delivered, but we had some extra laying around and we had already a couple bags. So we just said, screw it, we'll just throw some soil in. But of course, this is taking a lot of soil. You can actually use a soil calculator online to see exactly how much you need. You just enter in the uh, square footage, I believe in the ask for depth, so cubic footage, whatever the case may be. And then one thing you really wanna keep in mind too, when you're doing these, you want to make sure that your tree can breathe okay so you don't want to make sure that you don't have soil going all the way up without any structural wall around it or some kind of tree collar to prevent the soil from collapsing into the tree bark because it can actually rot decay can lead to um it just can be susceptible to disease and insects will love it so uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing it i'm not sure exactly what i want to do yet but i think i might do the tree skirt or not tree skirt the uh, tree collar, I think you get like a 12 inch tall from Amazon. It's like a roll of it. It's like a 
I don't remember exactly what it was or how much it was, but I was just briefly looking. So just see what my, my options are. I may put some plywood around it as like a kind of like a retaining wall to kind of keep some of the soil away from it. And then of course, put some nice bright flowers in. So all in all, that's pretty much it. As far as color, we used Western Oak. This stuff is awesome. It's like a topish gray. It worked really well, had extra of it. And then to seal it, of course, the birds are gonna crap all over it. You're gonna get rain, you wanna make sure it's sealed well. So Olympic Water Guard, clear wood sealer. About two cans of this, you want to spray everywhere on the inside perimeters, especially the corners, because that's where it gets a lot of water. And this way you can just spray the bird crap off too. So uh, prep work is key, of course, for something like this. Um, all in all, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe again, ask any questions, and then stay tuned. Please tell me a little bit about your projects. I'll talk to you guys soon.